Hey there, it's Brody Welch. And this is the time of year where I start to see people falling ill with various lung things, colds, flus, that kind of thing. So I wanted to just give you a few quick tips from Chinese medicine that could help you stay healthy as we move into fall. So the first thing is to take care of your lymph. Your lymphatic system um, is part of your immune system. It's vital to uh, keep it clean and moving. Lymph doesn't move on its own, so we have to move for it to move. And the best way to do that is by getting regular exercise. So I'd encourage you, especially getting exercise outside, especially beneficial, getting some sunlight, some vitamin D. Um, but just, just any way of engendering movement, including just shaking Qigong, so just like standing, softening the knees, allowing there to just be some gentle movement, moving, moving your body to move your lymph. Short of that, every morning, take a lymph uh, brush, a, a dry brush, and you can just kind of run this over your skin. I'm obviously not um, obviously clothed at the moment, but you would do this over your bare skin, moving towards the heart, and that it, um, so bringing, bringing energy in and allowing your lymph to circulate so that your immune system can detoxify. You can also do self-massage with oil. You can use coconut oil uh, like this that I've got here, um, which is, tends to be cooling. You can use almond oil or sesame oil, which is going to be more warming. And all that is a great way of, of moving lymph and of helping to detoxify your system and also to create kind of a little energetic barrier between you and the world. It'd be really great. It also feels really good, very relaxing, um, especially if you couple it with uh, a nice bath at the end of the day, especially with Epsom salt. Awesome. This is also the time of year for this guy, for a neti pot, um, taking, making the solution about the salinity of your natural um, salt. So it should taste like a teardrop and that just flushing your sinuses because the bacteria uh, can build up in mucus and you don't want to be a breeding ground for viruses and bacteria. So getting it out of your body can help you to stay healthy. The other thing is if your sinuses tend to be dry or if you're going to be on an airplane, that kind of thing, in order for your nasal passages to protect you properly, they need to be adequately moist. And so nausea oil is a special Ayurvedic thing. Um, this is from Banyan Botanicals. Um, they, you, can, you can use nausea a few drops per nostril, which can help uh, trap uh, pathogens and or help help your body to trap pathogens, I should say. And in the nausea oil, you can just use like coconut oil or sesame oil, just take your pinky and just like run it around the inside of a nostril. Um, you can also, of course, use essential oils in your diffuser or just like anoint them on points. So right now here I've got peppermint and I have saro. I also like the evergreens like spruce and pine um, can be really great for just purifying at the level of the air. So that can also be excellent to do um, this time of year. The other thing is to the, the invitation of the season, all of the, uh, like what's happening in nature, the days are getting shorter, um, the weather's getting colder, and the trees are pulling their sap in, dropping off that's not necessary anymore. So it's time to really like drop what's unnecessary in your daily life so that you can rest more, pull your energy in, get more sleep, come uh, make sure that you are winding down in the evenings, really giving yourself some downtime because that is the invitation of fall. Emotionally, it's also a time, uh, I get with that drawing in, it can feel kind of sad and it can feel a little bit like uh, like the death of, you know, it's the autumn of the year. It's that, that, um, and, and the, in the autumn of our lives, it's kind of like, it's the, it's the letting go, it's the withdrawing. And so it, it may be that you're picking up, if you're feeling a little extra sadness this time of year, it might just be the season and that that's, that's what's going on. And so being able to honor that and take some time to process and move through, um, if there is some sadness or some loneliness or some disconnection that you're feeling, uh, and perhaps uh, the medicine could be to reach out to a friend and to connect with someone because uh, it's it's just such a rare thing to uh, in in this society where we seemingly are connected all the time, but a lot of us end up feeling really quite disconnected, and that there's sort of like looking past that illusion and being able to just just connect heart to heart to someone with someone can help overcome the the kind of melancholy that can be implicit in the season. So those are some tips for staying healthy this fall, and thanks for watching.